So tomorrow is 420, right? It's pot day, cannabis day, whatever you want to call it. I want to talk about the group. Joining me right now, Morgan Paxia, found co-founder, managing director at Poseidon Investment Management. Thank you for being with us. So there's a lot of hype around 420, right? Is tomorrow an important day to you and why? It is. This this whole week is our industry's biggest week of, of sales uh, for the year. Um, there's a lot of celebration around it. Um, it's a time for consumers to try new products. Um, we do see a nice bump. Uh, for example, Headset just put their data out uh, for the two days prior to uh, 420 and just noting the acceleration. So we're already seeing revenues up 7% year over year on a national basis uh, leading into the holiday. So we think 420 this year could be another record setting day. Are people buying more pot or do they buy t-shirts that say 420, you know, best day ever? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's uh, a whole bunch of uh, ancillary uh, products being purchased, t-shirts and things in celebration. But the revenue I was noting the up year over year of up 7% is uh, specifically around products. So we're talking about form factors like beverage or pre-roll or, uh, you know, even some nuanced categories like concentrates. Um, you know, the, the great thing about 420 is it's certainly the more promotional day of the year. So it gives consumers a chance to see what's new, see what's different than they haven't been, uh, you know, is more normal for them to consume. How close are we to getting some good news for these companies, whether it's regulatory reform or OK by federal banks to be able to do more business because right now not allowed to do business. How close are we to some good news, whether it's approval in certain states or something more widespread? Yep. At the state level, Florida uh, has cleared to be on the ballot in November, which is incredibly exciting. That's going to be a very large market, uh, potentially the largest U.S. legal state market. Uh, so that's obviously got a lot of positive attention. Ohio is set to open earlier than expected with its adult use program starting this potentially uh, June, when most of us, including the industry analysts, um, we're not expecting until the later part of this year. So that'll be a really nice jump. That's another big market and a, a key political market. So having that come online is, is very good to see. Pennsylvania seems like it's, it's on the horizon as well to shift to adult use. Um, so a lot of growth is unlocking at the state level. Um, around rescheduling, that raise attention, uh, moving off of the Schedule One substance to a Schedule Three or better certainly has a significant impact on tax on the industry. The 280E tax code is incredibly burdensome, and so removing that would be significant. We are we're certainly in a wait and see mode. We were hoping to see by today was kind of the thought when the HH came out this summer and said that cannabis is in fact not the most dangerous substance on the planet, um, and now we're just waiting on the DEA. And uh, being in this industry for over a decade, I'm, I'm ready for it to happen. Would love to see POTUS getting out there and getting loud and supporting it as well. I think that would make a, a big difference with the DEA to get moving on that. Um, and then banking reform, you know, this Congress is tough. Uh, it's really hard to get a read on, on when banking reform will happen in this industry, but it's badly needed. Um, we need it because mm -hmm. just because rescheduling happens, it's still federally illegal. And so there's concerns around will companies be listed on major exchanges upon rescheduling and, and banking reform would help to resolve that. Which companies stand out to you? Uh, you don't have to do stock picks, but which ones seem to be leaders in your opinion? I know you have some stocks to watch. I see some headlines pertaining mm -hmm. to Canopy Growth and their big step and entry into the U.S. THC market, which is um, prevalent right now. This week has been in the news. Which names stand out to you? Sure. Well, Noting Canopy, um, obviously, congrats to them on getting that deal done. Uh, we'll be watching to see if the NASDAQ blesses the Canopy USA uh, company to be listed or not. Uh, obviously, that would be significant um, and a significant step for that company that's had quite a journey um, since uh, the Constellation brand's investment, um, which was transformative. Um, but, uh, you know, for us, we're mostly focused on U.S. names, uh, you know, high quality, looking at fundamentals, companies that are investing and in, in being good capital allocators in the states that are driving growth to their business, um, good leadership teams. You know, GTI is obviously a, an industry stalwart or, you know, best in breed that most of us know, Green Thumb Industries. Um, and then there's really some interesting mid-tier companies uh, that had a, a very attractive growth profiles. Um, that could see some some nice uh, lowering of cost of capital with rescheduling because there'd be more market participants 
Um, so names like, uh, you know, TerraSend or Ascend Wellness and Air Wellness, you know, they're allocating capital in, in good growth markets that are, you know, notable con contributions to their, their footprint and revenue profile. Yeah, so we'll look for all of those. Thank you so much, Morgan Paxia, Poseidon Investment Management. Thank you.